I have always been mesmerised by the sea. What lies above and beneath and the lives that depend on it. Today I'm at the Seacliff Home and Playground to a northern former colony that lives right here on my doorstep in Sussex and one of my favourite places to spend time. What captures me about Fulmers is that they were the first seabird that really excited me and ignited my passion for wildlife photography. When I was younger, I didn't know that these seabirds were living just a stone's throw away from my home. So I was overjoyed when I discovered that a true seabird, a bird that has seen life over the horizon and braved unimaginable storms, was living right under my nose. And I still find this exciting. To me, the former is a warrior of the open northern ocean. When other seabirds might seek refuge, these birds are battling the elements, using the winds to range over large distances, soaring seemingly effortlessly. The word former has a Norse origin, meaning foul gull, referring to the foul stomach oil that they spit out as a defence mechanism when threatened. One of my favourite behaviours to witness at the colony is the communication between bonded pairs and neighbours. Every now and then, a former will sail along the cliff and visit another on a cliff ledge. The former on the cliff ledge will cackle vigorously, sweeping its head from side to side, and the visiting former passively sits erect before possibly bowing and cackling in response. This behaviour is thought to play an important role in establishing the social order in the colony and it's fascinating to see. I love this time of year as winter is when the formers begin to return to their nest sites, the same every year to rejoin their long-term partner well ahead of the breeding season to come. They greet and bond with each other, billing and head bobbing with loud cackling calls while keeping their bills open and throats distended, which is what I'm witnessing a lot of at the moment. Having spent such a long time observing the northern former, means that I can instantly spot them out at sea. Their flight is quite distinctive, different to that of a gull, and once learnt, it becomes very recognisable, with stiff wing strokes and short bursts of wing beats followed by an effortless glide. Hours simply disappear observing the fauners, watching them on the updrafts wheeling tirelessly round and round their breeding sites. Seabirds have the power to totally transport me and during the winter months anticipating the return of these birds to my doorstep is something that I greatly look forward to. Next time you see a former, think of the incredible journey it has been on. The sunsets and sunrises, the high seas and the huge waves and maybe you'll see the warrior that I see.